Hello and welcome to Learning with Lisa. In today's video we are going to be learning about the plants and animals that live in the savanna. While you are watching keep a lookout for the safari jeep and tell me how many times it appears. Let's start by finding out what a savanna habitat is. Well savannas are large areas of flat plains covered in long grasses. They are also scattered with trees and shrubs. Savannas are found in places close to the equator. The equator is an imaginary line that circles the middle of the globe in places such as South America, Africa and Australia. Countries with savanna habitats tend to get more direct sunlight than anywhere else. This means the weather is warm throughout the year. We are going to look at African savannas in more detail. There are two seasons in the savanna. There is the dry season in the winter where the ground becomes dried up and the grasses start to wither. And there is the wet season in the summer. During the rainy six months of the year, the wet weather helps the grasses to grow. Plants that grow in the savanna need to be able to survive for long periods of time without rain. To do this, they have long roots that can reach down far into the soil to search for water or they are able to store water in their trunks. The majority of plants that grow in the savanna are mainly different types of grass and trees, such as acacia and baobab. Did you know that baobab trees can live for over 1,000 years? The savanna looks very different depending on the time of the year. During the dry season, the soil is dried up and the grass is withered and lifeless. But when the rainy time comes, the grass begins to grow and becomes green, thick and healthy once again. So now we know about the types of plants that live in the savanna, let's take a look at which animals call the savanna their home. In places where there are large areas of grass and it is scattered with trees, you often find large herds of plant-eating animals, such as giraffes, buffaloes, zebra, gazelles, and wildebeest. We call these animals herbivores. Where there are herbivores, there are often many hungry predators who want to eat them. Animals such as lions, hyena, leopard, and cheetah make the savanna their home too. They are carnivores, which means they eat meat. The plant-eating animals have developed ways of making it hard for the predators to catch them. Some like gazelle are able to travel very fast to outrun their predator. Their special gift is speed. The elephants use size and power to keep predators away. And the giraffe uses its height to spot predators from far away. However, Predators have also developed special skills to help them catch their food. Cheetahs, which are the fastest land animal, can run up to 70 miles an hour to catch its prey. That is fast as a car traveling along the motorway. Lions and hyenas hunt in groups as it makes it easier for them to catch their dinner. Sadly, just like many other habitats, the savanna is under threat too. But 
there are things we can do to help. We can help protect the animals living there by working together to slow down the effects of global warming. Just in case you didn't know, global warming causes temperatures to rise. So this means the weather in the savannah could get even hotter and cause a shortage of water and plants and the animals would become very hungry and thirsty. Global warming happens when a gas called carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. This happens every time we burn coal, natural gas and oil. Fossil fuels get trapped into the atmosphere and this increases the Earth's temperature. Animals and plants will find it hard to survive in the savanna if the weather gets even warmer. So what simple things can we do to help? Well, we can remember to switch off lights when they are not needed. Using less electricity means burning less fossil fuels. We can also recycle and reuse. Remember to put used paper into the recycling bin. And rather than throwing things away, try to find other uses for them. The less things we need to make, the less fossil fuels we will burn. Savannah animals such as elephants and rhinos are also at risk from people trying to hunt them. Elephants are hunted because people want to sell the ivory from their tusks and rhinos are caught for their horns. You can help by never buying products made from animal parts. Elephant habitats are being destroyed too. Crops for coffee are being grown in the places elephants like to live. If you drink coffee, make sure it is animal friendly. Look for the fair trade mark on the packaging. Earlier in the video, we said that savanna habitats are also found in Australia. So let's take a quick look at the animals there as they have a different set of animals to the ones found in the African savanna. Here, kangaroos and wallabies are common. In Australia, the savanna is called the bush. In times of drought, the Australian bush is at risk of fire. In the past, this has harmed many of the bush animals. Fires start when people do not put out campfires correctly or when lightning strikes. The, the dry vegetation makes the fire spread much quicker. So now we know all about the savanna, let's do the quiz and see how much we can remember. Are you ready? Which one of these are you likely to see on an African safari? Tiger? Lion? Polar bear? You are most likely to see a lion on an African safari. How many seasons are there in the savanna? Two, four, three. There are two seasons in the savanna. How many years can an African baobab live? 10, 50, 1000. An African baobab can live over a thousand years. What is a herbivore? A plant eater? A meat eater, an animal that eats both plants and animals. A herbivore is a plant eater. What is a carnivore? A plant eater, a meat eater, 
an animal that eats both plants and meat. A carnivore is a meat eater. In this food chain, which is the predator? Cheetah, grass, impala. The answer is cheetah. Which of these helps a cheetah catch its dinner? Its tail, its speed, its whiskers. The answer is its speed. What helps giraffes to stay safe? Speed, height, their tail. A giraffe's height helps it to stay safe. Why do lions hunt in packs? It's easier to catch animals, they enjoy each other's company, to stay safe from predators. Lions hunt in packs because it's easier to catch other animals. Why do zebras and giraffes live in herds? Because they like each other? because there is nowhere else to live, to stay safe from predators? The answer is to stay safe from predators. Why could global warming upset the savanna? The weather turns hot and dry. Leopards don't like the sun. You won't be able to visit anymore. The answer is the weather could become hot and dry and cause a drought. Why are rhinos and elephants hunted? For their tusks and horns? To be eaten? Because there are too many of them. Rhinos and elephants are hunted for their tusks and horns. It's time for us to go on our own African safari. I wonder which animals we will see. Are you ready? We've now finished learning all about the African savannah. How many times did you see the safari jeep? I saw it nine times. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please subscribe. I hope to see you again soon, but bye bye for now. Bye.